my dear students welcome back to our channel students in this video i am explaining mba first semester subject statistics for management important case study questions and answers let's start quick revision first important case study is case study i in a certain town males and females each form 50% of the population it is known that 20% of the males and 5% of the females are unemployed research studying the employment situation selects an unemployed person at random what is the probability that the person so selected is a male to solve this problem we need to calculate the probability that a randomly selected unemployed person is male given the information provided we we'll use bayes theorem for this step 1 define the events m is equal to event that the person is male f is equal to event that the person is female u is equal to event that the person is unemployed step 2 given probabilities p m is equal to 0.5 since 50% of the population is male p f is equal to 0.5 since 50% of the population is female p u vertical bar m is equal to 0.20 20% of males are unemployed p u vertical bar f is equal to 0.05 5% of females are unemployed step 3 total probability of unemployment p u to find p u we use the law of total probability substituting the known values p u is equal to 0.1 to 5 step 4 applying bayes theorem now we can use bayes theorem to find the probability that a randomly selected unemployed person is male substituting the values p m u is equal to 0.8 final answer the probability that the randomly selected unemployed person is male is 0.8 or 80% next important case study is case study 2 a movie producer is bringing out a new movie in order to map out his advertising campaign he wants to determine whether the movie will appeal to particular age group or whether it will appeal equally to all age groups the producer takes a random sample from persons attending preview of the new movie and obtains the following results what inferences will you draw from this data the steps of the chi square test for independence to calculate the expected frequencies compute the chi square statistic and determine whether we can reject the null hypothesis step 1 observed frequencies given data here's the observed frequency table step 2 expected frequencies now we calculate the expected frequencies for each cell the formula for expected frequency age is age is equal to rho total times column total grand total let's calculate the expected frequencies for each cell i'll compute them one by one for under 20 and liked the movie is equal to 132 for under 20 and disliked the movie is equal to 61.6 for under 20 and indifferent is equal to 26.4 for 20 to 39 and liked the movie is equal to 66 for 20 to 39 and disliked the movie is equal to 30.8 for 20 to 39 and indifferent is equal to 13.2 for 40 to 49 and liked the movie is equal to 60 for 40 to 49 and disliked the movie is equal to 
for 40 to 49 and indifferent is equal to 12v for 60 and over and liked the movie is equal to 42 for 60 and over and disliked the movie is equal to 19.6 for 60 and over and indifferent is equal to 8.4 step 3 calculate the chi square statistic now that we have the expected frequencies we can calculate the chi square statistic using the formula where oj is the observed frequency from the original table age is the expected frequency calculated above let's compute the chi square value for each cell for under 20 and liked the movie 1.485 for under 20 and disliked the movie 0 937 for under 20 and indifferent 1.55 for 20 to 39 and liked the movie. 2.182 For 20 to 39 and disliked the movie. 2.514 For 20 to 39 and indifferent. 0 0.774 For 40 to 49 and liked the movie. Is equal to 2.4 for 40 to 49 and disliked the movie is equal to 7 for 40 to 49 and indifferent is equal to 0 0.333 for 60 and over and liked the movie 4.667 for 60 and over and disliked the movie 0 0.294 for 60 and over and indifferent 16.02 Step 4. Summing the chi square values. Now, sum all the values to get the total chi square statistic. Chi 2 is equal to 39.156. Step 5. Degrees of freedom. We already calculated the degrees of freedom, df. Is equal to 6. Step 6. Critical value and decision. For DF is equal to 6 and a significance level of alpha is equal to 0.05, we can look up the critical value. From the chi square distribution table, the critical value for DF is equal to 6 at 0.05. Significance level is approximately 12.592. Since our calculated chi square statistic, 39.156 is greater than the critical value 12.592 we reject the null hypothesis step 7 conclusion since the chi square statistic is significantly larger than the critical value we reject the null hypothesis this suggests that age group and opinion about the movie are not independent in other words the movie's appeal does Depend on age group. Different age groups have different opinions about the movie. Final inference. The movie producer should consider targeting different age groups with distinct advertising strategies based on how different age groups feel about the movie.